What's up and welcome back. I'm Steph Sabra and this is another session of Cine Quickies. I'm going to give you a quickie and that's just for movies and TV news, you dirty little minds, you. <laughs> but I'm excited today. Asian Avengers make some noise. Maybe it's a little premature to say Avenger, but hopefully because Steven Yun is joining the MCU universe. The MC universe? I guess that's a shorter, cooler way to say it, I guess. We're going with it. Char, you like it? Yes! Okay, as two Asians in the room, we are very happy. And as Steven Yun stands, we are very, very happy. Have you seen Minari? If you haven't, go do it. I'm telling you, go do it. It's so excellent. But also, it's like, I'm an Invincible fan. He's great in that. Walking Dead fans didn't watch it, but I know he was massive in that. Nope. If you saw that, he was so great. I loved an Asian cowboy moment. We don't get many of those, so that was a real win for us. And now if he's going to be joining in Thunderbolts, which is so exciting because it's projected, not confirmed yet, that it will potentially be a longer role, not just in this movie, but a very substantial role. So fingers crossed he's actually in there for more than one movie, but he He's going to be joining an incredible cast, which some of you might know some of the major cast members, including Florence Pugh as Yelena. I love me some Yelena. I actually want her to have her own standalone movie. Maybe we'll get there. Maybe in a shorter amount of time than it took to get the Scar- um, not the Scarlet Witch. Shorter amount of time than it took to get the Black Widow movie, which should have been made years ago, but then they forced it in in a phase that felt a little weird for it. But I still liked it. Did y'all like Black Widow? Are you as excited for this as we are? I really can't wait. It's like, are we going to put him in tights? Like, is there a cape? What's the outfit? <laughs> I'm thinking fashion already. Let me know what you're thinking if you're excited about this casting news and Thunderbolts in general. Moving on to the next piece of news, Lord of the Rings is still being discussed and as a Lord of the Rings fan I'm happy about this I don't know if you checked out Rings of Power I did I didn't hate it as much as a lot of people I actually really enjoyed it do I think there was room for improvement yes this is why this news is exciting because I feel like the Lord of the Rings universe has so much to explore I've tried reading the books it's too much to explore for me right now in my life but that lets me know that there is so much to explore I kind of think about it in the same way that I think about Star Wars it's like would the original trilogy have been enough? No. And I'm saying that as I acknowledge the original trilogy is the best Star Wars that ever and maybe the best trilogy of all time. The only one that competes with it, in my opinion, is Lord of the Rings. But I say that to say like there's an entire Middle Earth to explore that we haven't explored already. And this seems a little bit different. This is going to be an anime film, which as an anime fan, that really excites me. I don't know how they'll do it. April 12th, 2024. It's supposed to be set open theatrically. So that will be great to see an anime film open theatrically. We see that uh, internationally all the time, but in the States, that's not as popular. That will be great to see what they actually do with that. It's a cool medium to explore the Middle Earth in. I think it's a smart move in a few senses that it's separating itself from Rings of Power, like the series, which was a new take compared to the films, but it's even taking a step further in changing the visual medium of it. So I think it'll be good to like kind of shake the board in which we view Lord of the Rings and maybe approach it in a new view where we're not as harsh because we're like, oh, they can't do it how the original trilogy did it. So this excites me. Let me know if you guys feel differently. Are you fatigued from Lord of the Rings? Are you like, take a break? It has been 20 years since the original trilogy came out. So I feel like it's a good time to like still explore it and see what it has to offer. I think they're going to be doing more as well. So I don't think we're going to be on Lord of the Rings content anytime soon. Yes, I'm excited about that. Woo! More Warner Brothers news. They seem to be loving the prequels or the reboots of franchises or the reigniting, whatever you want to call it, because it is getting a prequel series, Welcome to Dairy, and that's going to be on HBO Max. I saw it, scared the shit out of me, <laughs> scared the crap, the bejesus out of me. That's better. I, I, I really don't like it. I was going to say I really don't like that guy, but I think that's the 
point of calling Pennywise it, that they are superseding gender. They are just an evil entity, which I hate. I don't know if I'll be watching this. I feel like me watching it was enough, though I will say it was a great movie. Even though I hated the experience, it was exhausting. Never will do it again. Never want to do it again. I have to say when a movie's good, it's good. And that was a great movie. Let me know. Are you an It fan? Does this excite you? Are you a horror fan? And you're like, yes, let's go a horror series on HBO. HBO doesn't really seem to miss in terms of its series. I'm sure there are ones that are bad. Everyone that I've seen so far has absolutely slapped. Currently watching The Last of Us like the rest of the world. That is one of my favorite shows already. So I think that this will be no different. This will probably be great. I might have to sit this one out unless you tell me that I should watch it. Finally, our last story of the day, Avengers musical from Hawkeye will sort of come to life this summer. This is an article from TV Line. They will be doing a one act show at California Adventures. I've already heard from Machara. She will be there. Yes. She's definitely going. Her excitement makes me want to go, but I actually want to view this trailer with you guys that they dropped on Twitter to see if I'm about it. Cause I watched Hawkeye. I loved the musical shots that we got like the rest of y'all. I feel like that was such a different form of Marvel than I've seen before. I was like, oh my God, they're really being meta with this. I loved it. But then when I heard the news of it becoming a real life musical, I'm like, okay, is this a money punch? Who knows? But let's see, let's see, let's watch it. Swanky. You got <laughs> okay. Oh my gosh. Okay, Avengers, you got me on that one. That was quite the tease. <laughs> what did we get out of that? I guess it's that a cool mood. Was that Peggy Carter? Yeah. Yeah, I love me some Peggy Carter. Which, by the way, I'm rewatching the MCU films in timeline order just because I love myself and want to. And I saw the Peggy Carter was added into it. Is it worth it? Have you seen it? It's only 17 minutes, so maybe I should just watch it. But I want to know from you guys if you've checked it out yet. Okay, I'm glad for people. If this becomes all the rave and people are like, you gotta go to California Adventures and see this while you're there, then I'll be there with a churro and happy. I loved it in Hawkeye, so I can't imagine that they put something on that's not great in the actual park. They seem to do an excellent job in the park with just making the atmosphere amazing. So we'll see. All right, that wraps up Cine Quickies for the day. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Make sure you hit that subscribe button, hit the notification so you know when I drop another video or we drop another video. We have so much going on on this channel. Leave a comment. Let me know what you're excited for about these stories and I'll see you later. I'm Steph Sabra. Much love.